and take a look at this. This might be the most loaded down summer squash plant I've ever seen. When you leave for a couple days, especially when it comes to zucchini and summer squash, they tend to go, whoa. Guten gardening, everybody. Well, today's a really important harvest day. I've got to go around and gather all the fruits and vegetables that are ready because we're about to head out on a couple of week trip to Germany and I don't want to leave these fruits to spoil. So let's go ahead and get started with our harvest here in Zone 5, Wisconsin. And I'm going to start right here in our compost garden. You can see some of our melons are getting to be a pretty nice size. Look at that beauty. But I'm going to get this kohlrabi out of here. We'll free up a little space for the melons. I let this one go a little bit longer. Ooh, I don't want to want to destroy everything in here. There we go. I let this one go a little bit longer than the other kohlrabi. It wasn't quite ready at the time that I harvested the first one. But there's a beauty. And right beside that, looks like some more of our zucchini. Oh, a couple of big zucchini in here. Maybe some oversized zucchini that need to come out. I'm just gonna twist these off. There's one. And here's our second one. And I almost missed the third one down in there. Wow, these are, these are a little too big, but I've been gone for a couple of days. And you know, when you leave for a couple of days, especially when it comes to zucchini and summer squash, they tend to go, whoa, crazy. Oh man, right there on top of our compost, that's all I'm going to harvest from this area. Let's move on. And I'm not going to harvest any of my tomatoes yet. You can see they're starting to blush. And I think a lot of folks will pick right at that time. But I'm going to let these go a little bit longer. But you can see these tomato plants are filled up. I am, however, going to come over here to our main garden space. And I've got some more summer squash. Actually, we grew a lot of summer squash this year. And these plants look like they're heading out a little bit actually oh look at this these squash bugs on here yeah so this plant is done but i've had so much production from these and they've done so well for me just this early prolific straight neck and they have been prolific i've harvested a ton of these yellow squash off of here so i'm not really overly concerned that these plants are at about the end. I am gonna get rid of those squash bugs though so that they don't destroy anything else, don't move around much more. Oh, aren't those beautiful? And now I get to show you a squash that I haven't shown at all this year. I've hinted at them in some of our other videos, but I haven't shown you yet some patapan squash. We grew some white and green patapan squash. And this one's been on here for a while. Maybe a little bit too long. I'm gonna break this off just like a steering wheel. Just give it a nice little turn. Take a look at that patapan. Now, in the past we've grown some yellow, but this is our first time growing the white. But you can see the size that they can get to pretty easily. And pretty nice and prolific producers. In the past we've harvested around this size. But I'd like to know which size you prefer, the larger or the smaller when it comes to this kind of harvest. One thing I can tell you is there are quite a few on these little plants. This is right behind our house. But in our main garden space, in between our beans here, I've got more, 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 more of these squash growing too. I think these are not only unique in appearance, uh, scared a little bee just now, unique in appearance, but they have a really nice flavor as well. There's a whole bunch in here and I've got more on the next one. I'm just gonna go ahead and get these harvested. Look at that pile of patty pan deliciousness. And I think when we get back from our trip to Germany, we should have lots of pole beans. And I think the timing is actually perfect. So these shouldn't go to waste because they're they haven't even, they're just seeing the flowers here. So those shouldn't go to waste while we're gone. And that's important. We wanna come back to some more production. Similarly, I could harvest a lot of kale right now, but I think it's going to be okay while we're gone. I got a couple of leaves that I need to pull off here, but that's looking really, really nice. You can see our potatoes here are dying back, so I'm going to be harvesting a ton of potatoes 
right when I get back, I'm sure. Similarly, in the next couple of days before we leave, we're gonna be harvesting some, look at these Concord grapes, these are ready. So I've gotta get these harvested off of here. You know what? Oh no, this one came off. Isn't it just terrible when that happens? Mm, just terrible. Now beside a lot of the grapes on this side of the house, we have some more summer squash. And last season, the summer squash here didn't do very well. I think this bed itself wasn't well fertilized, but also it was so dry that these didn't have a very good start. And so this season, we had a nice, nice good bit of consistent rain at the start of their growing season. And take a look at this. This might be the most loaded down summer squash plant I've ever seen. This season is a different animal altogether. These plants are loaded. They are loving life. Even with the cucumber beetles, you see all these cucumber beetles hanging out right here? Even with those cucumber beetles, we're still getting great productivity. I'm over on my patio garden and I'm, I'm tempted to harvest these kohlrabi now, but I think I'm gonna wait until we get back from our trip. That one's a, a tough call, but there is something on the patio that I can harvest right now. And that's some of these sweet banana peppers. I mean, these plants are loaded down with beautiful banana peppers. You see, they've already changed color. And again, this is a sweet pepper. We grow a few, a few of the spicier peppers, not many. We prefer the sweet peppers, but I think these just look wonderful. And I need to get these inside as well. Yeah, perfect. Look at that handful of sweetness. Now I am gonna leave a few of these on the plant to keep growing. And down here on one of our green stalks, I've actually replanted the beans. I've got some red swan beans that are ready to be harvested down here. So I'm gonna get these off as well. These are some of the last of the beans from earlier in the season that are still hanging on, still growing. And these red swan beans were really, really delicious. It's a variety I might recommend to you, actually. If you like bush beans, these red swans are not only beautiful, they're quite tasty. One of the things that's so interesting about this is there are still a whole bunch of items here that definitely aren't ready yet. So, so much more in terms of harvest to come. It's kind of cool to see what I'm getting in the meantime. How about that for color? Now, this is a really interesting bed because I've got some potatoes, some Adirondack blues, that I've planted in here. These are our Wood Prairie Family Farm fall potatoes. And I planted it amongst some of the multi-sown beets that are in here. Take a look at the size of this beet. Now they're not all the size I would like. And <laughs> you see the potato coming in right in between. They're not all the size I would like, and that's a weed, but they're getting there. They're getting there. The leaves don't look great this year. I don't know. I don't know what I think about the beets this year, but I know we're gonna get some that I could be harvesting here in the short period of time, probably when we get back, and then we'll have potatoes coming right along right after. All right, I'm convinced. I'm gonna go ahead and add these beautiful grapes to our harvest. All right, that was a quick harvest. Again, mostly summer squash, zucchini, mostly that from this harvest. A few grapes, but plenty more that could be brought in. A few beans, you can have a meal out of that. Beautiful kohlrabi, some peppers but we had to get these off the vine before we went on our trip because you know, if we didn't do this, if we didn't come and get these off the vine, when I came back, they'd either be a bunch of monster squash, the plants would be dead, who knows? Again, we're gonna be gone for almost two weeks on this trip. And by the way, we plan to see some beautiful gardens while we're there. So that's our hope. We'd like to record some footage while we're there of those as well. But again, we've got to get these off here and I'm gonna have some grapes ready when we get back too, hopefully. So, ah. Anyway, hey, I hope you enjoyed this quick harvest video from here at Guten Gardening. If you did, check out some of our other garden tours, our other harvest videos. We got plenty of them out here. Check out the playlists as well. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give us a like, leave us a comment, remember to share and subscribe, and most importantly, remember, when you're with us, you are good to grow.